Ito po ang part 2 ng ating lesson para sa kanilang module 2, Mathematics 4. Ang content po ng lesson natin para sa kanilang module 2, lesson 2, uh, ordering numbers up to 100,000. In this lesson po, uh, we are expected that our children uh, should uh, master the rules and apply the principles in ordering numbers and orders number up to 100,000 in increasing and decreasing order. Ordering number means arranging or sequencing numbers. So we have rules in ordering a number. The first rule, rules in ordering numbers is compare two or more numbers at a time. We sample number numbers on the board. All you have to do is to compare them to each other. So that is the rule number one. We also have the rule number two. Line up the numbers accordingly to its place value. So this is the way on how you uh, line up the numbers according to the place value. And this is the number three rule. Begin comparing from left to right. All you have to do is to take a look on the first and succeeding digits. So if they are the same, just look for the next Uh, digit. So this is the way on how you uh, compare the numbers from left to right. Just take a look the first and succeeding digits. If they are the same, just look for the next digit. So these are the three rules in ordering a number. So you can read the three rules and Uh, bear them in your mind. And this is the number three rule. There are two ways in ordering numbers. It can be in an increasing order. It means to arrange the numbers from smallest to largest numbers. So as what you can see uh that was written on the board and we can also arrange numbers in decreasing order it means from largest to smallest numbers so take a look at uh, the examples that we have on the board this is the increasing order and the decreasing order smallest to largest and largest to smallest I think we are all ready to answer the activity 1 on page 7 of our module. So let us um, answer all together the given uh, numbers. So we are going to arrange them in increasing order. Those numbers written on the board, we are going to arrange them uh, in increasing form. So remember the three rules in ordering numbers. Compare the two or more numbers at a time. Line up the numbers accordingly to its place value. And three, begin comparing them from left to right. So if your answer is goes like this, it means your answer is correct. It also means to say that you follow the three rules in arranging numbers in increasing forms. You may now start to answer the four remaining numbers. Remember, arrange them. Arrange the numbers in increasing order. Number one is already done for you. Rewrite the numbers, but in increasing order. It means from smallest to num smallest numbers to the biggest numbers so in letter b we're going to arrange them in decreasing form it means from uh, biggest number to the smallest number so if your answer is same as this it means that you are all correct You may now also proceed in answering the letter B in the decreasing form of numbers.
It means from biggest numbers or to the largest numbers to the smallest number. And this is the activity 2 on page 8. All you have to do is to arrange the goods in decreasing order. Write your answer inside the a given table. Arrange them in decreasing order. This is the sample answer on the activity 2, page 8. I think you can do the rest now. And this is the activity 3, page 8. Pa din. Arrange them in increasing order. Increasing order means from smallest to the biggest number. I think meron na, na tayong ganitong uh, activity. You can do it now. Same thing in activity B on page 9. Arrange them in decreasing order. Alam na kung ano yung decreasing order. Pag nakapag-answer ka na dun sa una, madali na itong gawin sa inyo, mga bata. Decreasing order. Isulat ulit yung mga numbers na yan, pero in, in the decreasing order. Mataas mula sa pinakamababang numbers. And on page 10, what I can do? All you have to do is to um, read the situation. Read it carefully and understand the situation first. If you already finish uh, reading the situation, you can now uh, proceed in answering this following question. Madali na lang silang answeran kasi nakapagbasa ta na tayo ng situation doon sa what I can do. If you understand the situation, it is easy for you to answer this following question. You may now also proceed the assessment in, ordering, in answering the increasing order and decreasing order. So, it is for you to master the, arrange, the way on how to arrange numbers in increasing order and decreasing order. Kaya meron tayong mga repetition ng mga exercises para sa increasing order and decreasing order. Para ma-master ninyo, mga bata. And finally, you can also answer the additional activities in increasing order. Meron dyan tayong susundan na pattern. 10,500, 11, 12,000. They are increasing in... Uh, they, are, they are increasing... By adding uh, 500. So, meron tayong 10, 5, 11, 12,000. Meron tayong susunod is 12, 5. After 12, 5 or 12,500, susulat natin sa pinakadulo, the 13,000. Just um, follow the pattern that we have. And also in letter B, 40,000, 35,000, and 30,000. What comes next? If you have noticed, it is uh, decreasing for about uh, 5,000. After 30,000, we are tying 25,000. So, I think, madali na natin ito maa-answeran because na-master na natin ang content ng ating lesson. Happy learning, mga kids! So, that is the end of our lesson in module 2 para sa kanilang mathematics. So, kung mapapansin ninyo or magtatanong yung ibang mga magulang, bakit mayroong mga repetition ng mga um, activities? So, repetition sila para tingnan, ma-master, 
mahasa yung ating mga anak kung talaga bang naiintindihan nila yung lesson. So, hindi lang sila uh, basta mag-a-answer ng isang activity at, uh, at pagkatapos ay um, magpo-proceed na naman tayo sa ibang lesson. So, dapat muna nilang ma-master kung ano ang content ng lesson ng bawat module. So, happy learning po ulit sa lahat po ng mga bata at sa lahat po ng ating mga ka-parents.